Of the roughly 7,000 languages spoken and signed on Earth, about 500 of them are currently at risk of disappearing as the number of native speakers dwindles. This is the story about one man dispatching an army of volunteers to record these languages before it's too late. My name is Daniel, and I am the co-founder and director of Wikitones, a nonprofit powered by more than a thousand volunteers around the world, working to preserve, promote, and pass on every language to the next generation. Every day, hundreds of volunteers around the world are recording videos. <laughs> I help keep track of all of these videos as they're submitted so that they can be reused for educational and cultural purposes. New York is very important to linguistic diversity. New York is, by most statistics, the most linguistically diverse city in the world. There are as many as 800 languages spoken in and around the five boroughs. In many cases, it can be easier for communities to maintain their languages here than it is to maintain their languages at home. Today we're going to meet up with Wikitongues volunteers who are going to be taking us through different parts of New York. So we're going to speak you Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wikitongues focuses on recording oral histories, which is a fancy way of saying talking about yourself and your culture. Sometimes people barely talk about their language at all and they just talk about their daily job, in their language of course. Sometimes people talk about the history of their language and their culture. My name is Elvi Goliath. Uh, I will speak Aru language. Beta pun nama Elvi Goliath. Beta dari Dobo. Dobo itu di Pulau Aru, uh, tempat beta dilahirkan. The Wiki Tongues approach is record everything and classify it later. What I do is make sure that all of that content gets tracked and archived so it doesn't get lost and so it can be used for posterity and in the long term. Servus. Wikitongues has recorded over 435 languages from over 70 countries. That number changes every day. There are plenty of examples of languages being brought back from the dead. There's Cornish, there's Hebrew, there's Tunica. All of these languages had one thing in common. When the last native speaker died, there were materials for the cultural descendants to bring them back. And so building an open archive of every language in the world is not just a way of ensuring that people today can promote and teach their languages to the next generation. It's a way of ensuring that future generations can revive their languages even if they go extinct.